officer says our altitude is nominal, which is the typically conservative word for uh, very nearly a perfect uh, mission, as nearly as we can observe at this point. Nine minutes, 50 seconds, and we've just gone to what we call mode four. If any trouble should develop now, we would uh, go ahead and burn into orbit with our service propulsion engine. The crew is now being advised. We plan to cut off the third stage engine at 11 minutes, 28 seconds into the flight. We're now at 10 minutes, 10 seconds. We're yep. at 103.7 nautical miles above the Earth. Our velocity is at an even 24,000 feet per second, which is uh, just very, very close to orbital velocity. That's 95 percent of it. And we're 1,200 miles down range. So put us out a little bit east of Bermuda. If that uh, third stage uh, should not uh, function properly, and they did use a service propulsion system, that's a 20,500 pound thrust engine, uh, to go into orbit, it would mean that they would not refire for the lunar trip. It's a looking good back from uh, a looking good comment from Mike Collins. Eleven minutes twenty seconds. That uh, third stage cutoff should come any second now. Jim Lovell reporting a, a reading on one of his many gauges. We have Seco, says Frank Borman. Seco, and I would call it 11 minutes 30 seconds. That's the engine cutoff. That will be an estimate. 11 minutes 30 seconds. Our launch digital data shows uh, our velocity now 25,577 feet per second. The uh, data now has been re reduced, and we show an altitude of 102.5. And the crew has been given a go for orbit, and they responded enthusiastically that they, too, in fact, were go. So they've got a go for orbit. They're uh, half a mile off of their planned 103-mile uh, orbit. 102 and a half miles, not significant at all. They're a few miles, uh, an hour slower than their planned 17,500 velocity for orbit, not significant at all. This flight of Apollo 8 in its first stages has gone exceedingly well, and it augurs well, well for the remainder of the flight. Just read us down what he saw on his uh, his instrumentation. He shows an apogee of 102.6, a perigee of 96.8 and a cutoff velocity of 25,560 feet per second. Uh, that's within uh, well, hundreds of a percentage point of what we were reading on our scales here in Houston. So now for the next testing out their spacecraft systems. The communications, their uh, computers, uh, their various thrusters on their uh, attitude control, and uh, if, they, if all of these things seem to be working well, and now they apparently have a good third stage there, they will decide in the next uh, uh, two hours whether or not to go for the moon. If so, they will fire those engines two hours and 55 minutes after the uh, takeoff, or in other words, at about uh, 9.45 uh, Eastern time this morning. CBS News color coverage of the flight of Apollo 8 will continue in a moment.